Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here. So I gave this problem a few days back in a community post and in a Telegram and in the Champs batch as well. So here is a problem statement. Uh, very few people could give the correct answer for this problem. So uh, let's read out this uh, problem statement. For the given system of charges, if W1 is the work done by the agent in removing the dielectric coat, find W1. So what exactly is uh, given in this problem is, uh, so there is a conducting sphere with inner radius uh, R and outer radius 2R. So this is uh, blue color. And uh, outside this sphere, there is uh, from 2R to 3R, there is a dielectric uh, of dielectric constant 2. All right. And now inside this uh, shell, we are placing a point charge. So here this uh, this part, this is air, so which is uh, in red color here. And beyond this, again, there is air. So I hope uh, this situation is clear to you. Now it is given, if W1 is the work done by the agent in removing the dielectric code, that means this entire part you are removing from this system. Okay, so there are two parts in this uh, problem. So in this work done is W1. So we have to calculate uh, how much this will be. And now the part two is after dielectric coat is removed, then the work done by the agent in taking the point charge to far away point is W2. Now what we are doing is after removing this dielectric coat, we are taking this charge to far away point that is infinity we can say. And now that work is W2, we have to find the value of W1 by W2. So it's a pretty nice problem and uh, uh, yes, very much possible that uh, similar type of questions you may see in uh, advanced exam also. So uh, let's uh, discuss that part. So this question I'm going to solve by two different methods. So first I'll try to uh, tell you what exactly is this. So once uh, we remove this dielectric coat from here so it will be replaced by this air part this will also become air and uh, the inner system is as it is A remaining system there is no change so whatever change is coming it is coming in this uh, dielectric part so i can say the w agent is going to be the corresponding to the energy difference in this area uh, this volume and this volume here Let's call that uh, energy stored in the di uh, dielectric I'm calling as U1. And here where this dielectric was present in that part, whatever energy is present now in air, that energy is U2. So 2R to 3R, 2R to 3R region we are discussing. Uh, one note is also there that all, at all other places, energy stored will be same. So there is no change. So I can simply say W1 is basically U2 minus U1. W agent is U final minus U initial. Now first I'm going to use the capacitor logic. So it is uh, like a spherical capacitor. So you can say U1 can be simply calculated as Q0 square by 2 times C where C is going to be spherical capacitor formula we can apply Q0 square by 2C. C means C1 we can write 4 pi epsilon naught. This will be replaced by epsilon naught K. R1 R2 by R2 minus R1. So if I simplify, we are getting Q0 square by 48 pi epsilon naught K. Our K value is given as 2. So I am getting this as Q0 square by 96 pi epsilon naught R. Now U2 I can calculate using same logic. Now there is air. So Q0 square by 2 C value we can write here. 4 pi epsilon naught r1 r2 by r2 minus r1 all right so since k is missing uh, simply we can say it is uh, half of that uh, double of that sorry so here 96 here 48 is so now easily i can find out this w1 which is u2 minus u1 so if i simplify i am getting q0 square by 96 pi epsilon naught so this is by method one. Now second is by using energy density also we should get the same answer. So I can write uh, energy density formula is basically UE is uh, half epsilon naught E square in air. And if it is a dielectric medium half epsilon naught K E square I can write. 
so u1 i can write energy from 2r to 3r so half epsilon naught k e square in the dielectric please remember in presence of dielectric it will become e external by k so earlier when dielectric is not present that is uh, behaving like uh, e external which is uh, kq by r square now since dielectric uh, is present by k will become uh, the field and uh, that volume is 4 pi r square dr i hope this part is clear to you if you simplify and integrate this from 2r to 3r uh, you can check we are getting the same value which is u1 and technically it should come also similarly here u2 i can calculate in air so half epsilon naught kq by r square whole square 4 by r square dr 2r to 3r definitely uh, double of this will come because by 2 factor is missing one k was here and k square was coming from here so by k so double of that and if you simplify we are going to get this uh, u2 as q naught square by 4 pi epsilon naught r and it has matched so by both the methods you can uh, get this uh, w1 okay now let's calculate this uh, w2 situation is the dielectric coat has been removed so outside it is air now and uh, work done in uh, taking this charge to infinity is w2 so again we are going to write this w2 as energy here minus energy of this system now when i take this charge away now there is no induction so there is no charge present on the inner and outer surface of the conductor so directly i can say whatever it is going to be it is self energy of that charge q naught which was present at the center so final energy i can write self energy of charge q naught which is not known to us which is not defined also now when i write energy of the system this is where mistake happens normally so uh, let's write uh, so there is some energy here and there is some energy here and in this part there is no energy because field is zero inside this conductor so it will be self energy of uh, this self energy of uh, this q naught and after this uh, self energy of this uh, minus q naught self energy of this basically this outside energy we are writing and then for inside part we are writing energy I hope this is clear to you don't get confused here so what exactly it is going to come uh, self energy of this then outer this part energy stored q naught square k q naught square by 2r i can write where r is 2r k q naught square by 2 times 2r then uh, here i can write inner charge uh, self energy of this inner charge self energy of this and then mutual potential energy between these two even if you are writing uh, self energy and this mutual potential energy and this mutual potential energy these things are going to get cancelled so i'm not writing them here so this is how i'm going to get this u initial part here i hope these terms are uh, very much clear to you the next part w2 is going to be u final minus u initial when i simplify this this part is getting cancelled and i'm getting uh, from here k q naught square by 4 r which is q naught square by 16 pi epsilon naught r and uh, now w1 by w2 is going to be 1 by 6 this is going to be the answer for this uh, particular problem so many of you gave the right answer but majority of the people have given wrong answer i hope after this video uh, these things are very much clear to you see there is uh, another way self energy of this self energy of this self energy of this then mutual potential energy mutual potential energy and mutual potential energy like this also you can uh, write so multiple terms will come i hope this part is clear to you but in the end this expression is going to be same only and once you know this i think uh, this question was uh, easy so a lot of energy calculations are there however uh, if i don't have any other option i'll go with this but uh, uh, relatively lengthy method whereas uh, this capacitor logic is a uh, uh, very smart method and uh, i'll suggest you should uh, use whenever it is possible i have given some more problems for uh, solving so uh, do check them in telegram and uh, channel uh, community post and uh, give them a try i'll be coming up very soon with uh, their uh, solutions also so all the very best for your uh, advance keep preparing well 
and yes lot of grinding will be there for next uh, 40 days so keep grinding hard okay so that's it thank you thanks for watching this video